Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on the presentation layer, specifically talking about using CSS within our application. So let's go ahead and get started. So within our portlet, we have a number of CSS components that we're able to leverage, customize, add on, and so on. Here on this slide deck, we listed a couple of them, a couple on the header, a couple on the footer, one for the portal and the portlet for each one of those respectively. We have multi-value support and the header and footer CSS files injected respectively in the header and the footer. As you would imagine, looking at these names, we have the CSS injecting within the headers and the footer of both our portlet and the portal page as well. When we're looking at the portal CSS, for example, this is going to be relative to the context path of the portal. And then the same thing is true for the portlet relative path for the portlets context path. Great. We have a specific property or attribute that we define within our portlet component. We have it here at the very bottom adds a wrapper CSS class to that specific portlet. When we're looking for these CSS files, they're going to be found within the meta inf resources followed by the CSS folder. By default, when we create a portlet module project, we'll have a main.css class made available for us. Right. Even though the files are SCSS by default, we have a SAS compiler behind the scenes that will transform those into CSS files. So when we are referencing our CSS files, even though they come as SAS within our properties themselves, we will reference them as CSS files. So keep that in mind if you're creating your own, if you're creating your own CSS files and you want to reference them. A couple of tips and tricks as we wrap up our discussion on CSS, you're going to want to make sure these CSS files are namespaced, right? We don't want any conflicts to be occurring because of naming and we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Again, clay provides a lot of CSS components for us. So make sure to take a look at clay, see what you're able to use and use those only develop your own custom stuff if you really need it. So that wraps it up for this video and I will see you in the next video.